Well, hello there, y'all. So today we are pulling out the Naked palette again, and I came up with this really cool um, smoky green and gold spotlight eye, and I really wanted to play with Dark Horse in the palette, which is a beautiful kind of olive uh, green with a nice golden shimmer to it. So um, I really wanted to play with that shade today, and I'm so excited about how my eyes turned out. Um, I have done another video using this palette. It was more of a daytime kind of everyday natural wearable look. Um, so I'll have that linked below if you're interested. But today I definitely wanted to play with more of the smoky tones. And this is the look that I came up with. And it's so fall and I'm so excited. And I cannot wait for fall makeup and just fall in general. So I am playing with the Naked palette today. I'm also playing with some new products today that I've never tried before. Before we get into the video, first of all, Grab yourself a beverage because this may be a long one. We can sit and get ready and chat together and uh, have a beverage together. Um, also, subscribe to my channel. If you have not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And then while you're at it, click on that notification bell. That'll notify you every single time that I post a new video. And then one more thing. If you're not following me on Instagram, please go follow me. Grab your phone. Go on Instagram, type in Makeup Blake, follow me because I am going to be doing a giveaway really, really soon and I want everyone to be able to participate and um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. So go follow me on Instagram also because I'm doing just a bunch of really cool things on Instagram that y'all might want to be a part of. So if you want to see how I created this entire full face of makeup look using my beloved Naked palette, then just keep watching. Hello and welcome back. So um, I've already got my nice big beverage. I am ready to get into this makeup tutorial and I'm just feeling super inspired today. I've got a little bit of green on because I'm kind of feeling the whole fall vibes even though it is 90 something degrees here and um, I kind of wanted to do a fun um, colorful yet sultry uh, smoky eye today using the Naked palette and I kind of wanted to use more of the greens and the golds so I thought that'd be um, a pretty look to do today so that's what we're doing so we're just gonna hop right in um, I've already done my skincare like always I always do that off camera and then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my wet n wild photo focus face primer and then actually for a bit of glow today I'm gonna mix in uh, this physicians formula spotlight illuminating primer. I never show this guy any love and I think it's because I like my L'Oreal uh, Glotion better but this is also a really nice kind of illuminating product from the drugstore. It's almost out of this Wet n Wild primer. It's one of my favorites. So I'm just gonna do like, two pumps of that. That was about one and a half pumps and then I'm just going to mix those together and apply them all over my face. So another product I haven't shown a lot of love lately is the Physicians Formula Organic Wear BB Cream. I really, really love this. This is a great drugstore BB cream. It honestly wears a lot more like a foundation. It's got quite a bit of coverage, which is why I'm using it today because my skin is not looking the absolute greatest right now. I've been super stressed lately and I think my skin is kind of reflecting that a little bit. Um, and I'm just going to dot a little bit of that all over my face. And then I'm going to try out some new brushes today. So this one is by Japanesque. And it doesn't have a name on it or anything. But it looks like this. It's just a kind of more dense buffing brush. It reminds me of the Real Techniques buffing brush. And I'm going to use this to blend out my foundation. Um, this came in a set. It had two brushes. And Japanesque was on sale at Ulta. And I, of course, went and picked up some brushes. I don't know, anytime I'm near an Ulta, there's just this gravitational pull. And it's like, Alexa, you've got to go to Ulta. So I went in there, and uh, there's some other things I'm going to be playing around with today that I picked up as well. But this is really nice. I've never tried Japanese brushes before. They're a little bit pricier. Um, but because they were on sale, I thought I would give them a go. And I've heard really good things about them. So with any foundation that I use, I always like to do a really light layer. I don't like to cake it on. And then where I need more coverage, I like to go in with a concealer. Currently, guys, seriously, this concealer is so, so, so good. This is the Ben Nye Media Pro Cover It Concealer. If you can get your hands on this, you've got to try this. I 
purchase mine at Camera Ready Cosmetics. I actually have a store local to me, so I was able to go in the store and get it. You can, of course, order online. My goodness, this is such a good concealer. I like to use it as a concealer and as a foundation, which is why I like it so much because it's just so multi-use. So I'm going in with another Japanese brush. Uh, this came in another brush set. I think it was the Baking Duo. Um, I'm obviously not going to use this to bake. I'm going to use this to apply my concealer. So I'm just going to go straight into the pot. And any areas where I just need a little bit more help, this huge blemish down here, I just apply this concealer and it never looks heavy, it never looks cakey, it doesn't look makeup-y. It just blends beautifully into the skin and it's almost like you're just airbrushing your skin. It's so, so good. And then I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to apply some to my under eye. I usually like to use my finger for this step, but I'm going to try this brush and see how it works. And then actually, I'm going to take a little bit of this concealer and apply this all over my eyes as well. Alright, so to set my face today, I'm using something a little bit different. Have I never reached for this. This is the L'Oreal Hydra Perfect Perfecting Loose Powder. And I like this powder a lot. I just never reach for it. I think it's just because it's loose and it's a little bit more messy. And I've just been reaching for my number seven one over this. But I'm going to take another Japanese brush. Um, this came in a set as well. Again, I'll list everything below. And I'm going to use this to set my under eye. Just taking the tiniest bit. I believe you can only purchase this powder at Walmart. I've never seen it anywhere else. So if you want to try it out, you have to buy it at Walmart, which is the only downside. Um, but it is a really nice powder. I like it a lot. And I have the shade Translucent. So Sephora just finished their huge uh, VIB sale, and then Ulta is currently doing their 21 Days of Beauty right now. Which having two sales like that back to back is just too much for me. That's too overwhelming. Um, but from the Sephora sale, I actually did purchase one thing. I never purchase anything from the Sephora sale. I just, there's nothing that really entices me to want to spend a ton of money on stuff and I don't get that big of a discount anyway because I'm only a beauty insider. Um, but this year I actually did purchase something. I purchased the um, the Drunk Elephant De Bronzy, what are they called? Like Sunshine Drops or I forgot what they're called. But it's the uh, like tan or a bronzing serum because I've heard so many good things about it and I don't have anything like that in my collection I truly don't have anything like this product and that's kind of how I justified buying it um, but I haven't gotten in the mail yet but I'm super excited to try that out a lot of people told me it's really really good so I picked that up so you'll definitely be seeing that in the future but I'm really excited to try that out so I bought these glasses from TJ Maxx and I thought they were cool because they kind of look like mason jars but they're like a different kind of shape. I did not realize how large they were in the box so when I got home like I can barely fit my hand around this thing. It's so gigantic but um, they're really cool glasses. I've been trying to be better about drinking more water. I have such dry skin all the time. I feel like I'm just not drinking enough water. I think that's one of the biggest things. So I'm trying to combat my dry skin both externally and internally. And getting glasses like that and fun things to drink water out of makes it more enticing to drink water. So I'm hoping that this will help me drink more water throughout the day. All right, so to bronze up the skin, I'm going to go in with this Becca Multitasking Perfecting Powder. This was a little TJ Maxx. Marshalls. TJ Maxx? I think I got a TJ Maxx. Um, little find that I got. It's a multitasking powder. You can use it for your face. You can use bronzer, highlighter, whatever you want. Obviously, this is a bronzer shade on me. And then, I don't know if y'all have seen these brushes. These are the Real Techniques um, Blush Crush or Brush Brush Crush brushes. And I found mine at TJ Maxx, um, but I saw them at Ulta the other day. They were completely sold out. But they're limited edition. If you can get your hands on this brush, this is uh, the number 300. I think it's the bronzing brush or something. This is such an amazing shape, and I have been loving using this to apply bronzer. It's got a lot of movement. It's really flexible, so it's not too stiff. It's not going to apply a ton of product, and it's just a really, really awesome shape. So if you can find Find these brushes um, they're really really nice and then I'm just gonna start applying this to the normal areas
Alright, so another product that I picked up at Ulta is this Makeup Revolution. Um, the name is not on here, unfortunately, but it's this gorgeous gold uh, packaging and then it's got the four highlighters in here. I believe it's the Inc Incandescent Face Quad. Um, but it comes with four highlighters and I saw this and I, I'd heard about it, I've seen it before in photos and everything, but when I saw it in person, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm going to get this, I'm just going to take the plunge. It was uh, $15, which I think is a great deal for four highlighters, and then actually at the time, they still might be doing it, but Makeup Revolution... Um, with every $15 purchase you made, you got a free eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to be using that eyeshadow palette in my next video. So um, you'll definitely see that. But I'm super excited to use this. They had one other shade uh, deeper. So if you're deeper in complexion, that one will probably work better for you. But I'm really excited to use this. I've only swatched this. I have not used it on my face. So I'm going to try... Oh, sorry. I'm going to try this shade right here, which is just your standard kind of gold champagne shade nothing too exciting and I'm gonna take it on the Japanese brush that I used to set my under eye and I'm just going to buff this into the normal areas Wow that that's intense that's a little intense for me okay that's okay whoa baby do you do you, do you see that like how do you not see this okay so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, and then I'll go over everything with my powder brush, and we'll kind of dial it down. Man, I barely tapped my brush in there. So now I'm going to go in with my powder brush, and just kind of tone that down. That's a little much, but it's really pretty. It doesn't look glittery or metallic on the skin, which I was a little bit nervous about. I thought maybe it would look a little bit metallic, because they look quite metallic in the pan. But it actually looks really pretty on the skin. It looks really glossy, which y'all know is my favorite. All right, and then for blush, I'm using another new product. This was another uh, TJ Maxx or Marshall's Find. I can't remember. But this is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude. Hello? All right, so uh, that was Chris. So this is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Powder Blush in Let's Go Nude. I've heard really, really good things about this, and I was so excited to find this. I think it was at TJ Maxx. Um, but I'm going to take another Real Techniques brush. This is the 302 brush. This is the, uh, I believe it's called the Blush Brush from this Brush Crush collection. That was very difficult to say. And I'm just going to first apply that to the apples of my cheeks. So the skin looks really good. Um, it looks pretty perfect and um, I really like the way it looks right now. So I'm going to leave it as is. I am going to spray my face down though because I did use a lot of powders. So I'm just going to use this Garnier Soothing Facial Mist. I've been really liking this little samples or travel size. So I'm definitely going to get the full size when I'm done with this. Alright, so we are pulling out this baby. I'm super excited. Um, and if you haven't seen it yet, I've already done an eyeshadow look using this palette. And I will link that up in the cards and also link it down below. Um, but I did kind of a more natural, everyday type of look using these shades. Today I wanted to kind of focus on these deeper shades and do something a little bit more smoky. So I wanted to really play around with this dark horse shade. It's this gorgeous, really dark kind of olive green shade and it's got a nice sheen to it and I just thought that'd be really pretty and it's very fall appropriate which I am so excited for fall if you are not I'm sorry I'm going to annoy you but I'm so ready for fall all right so to start off the look I'm going to take a little bit of naked just right here and I'm just going to run this through my crease um, this will help with blending out any eyeshadows and um, especially when you're dealing with darker shades and you're doing more of a smoky look you want to kind of build up the intensity um, just so it doesn't get too crazy, too out of hand and then it's a little bit hard to blend out and kind of go backwards so I like to build up my intensity, work in layers um, so that's why I'm applying this shade first alright so actually I'm going to take a little bit of my bronzer and I'm going to run this through my crease because I kind of like the warm the more olivey undertone that this bronzer has so I think that'll pair really nice with the green. So I'm gonna just run that right on top of Naked. All right, and then I'm also gonna take a little bit of my bronzer and I'm gonna run that along my lower lash line as well. 
just all the way from outer to inner corner. All right, so now I'm going to go in with the shade Dark Horse, which is going to be the kind of main color for this look. And I'm going to start working this on the outer third of my eye. Hopefully this doesn't have too much fallout. But I'm just going to start kind of buffing this into this outer third. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just make sure you don't apply too much, otherwise it does get hard to... It might be, get a little bit hard to blend it out, so I'm just working a little bit at a time. And then I'm doing circular motions just to kind of keep it nice and blended. And I don't want it to look too choppy or too linear. Um, so I'm just working in these circular motions, slowly kind of bringing it up into my crease. And then I'm also going to bring it out in a more winged like shape you can keep it rounded you can do it more winged however whatever you prefer whatever works best for your eye shape but this is just the shape that i kind of want to go in and i'm going to bring that on the inner corner of my eye as well and then i'm just going to bridge the gap between the two I'm going to go back in with my blending brush that I used with my bronzer with no additional product and I'm just going to blend right along the edge of Dark Horse. Alright, so now that we have the overall shape, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the lower lash line. I'm going to take Dark Horse and I'm going to kind of mirror the upper lash line so I'm only going to keep it on the outer and inner corners. And then I like to just slowly connect it up to this wing that I have going on on the up, upper lash line. Just connect that. So it all looks fluid and looks like one shape. And another trick you can do to help blending, uh, blend your eyeshadows out, especially when you're using such dark shadows, is you can take a little bit of your face powder. I know I've mentioned this several times before, um, but this always helps me. Um, I just kind of like to use this to blend out this outer corner. Sometimes they look a little bit harsh, or if you're having a hard time really creating the shape that you want, you can just use a little bit of face powder, that way you're not adding any color, um, but it just gives you a little bit of a slip um, to blend out these shadows. Alright, and then for the center of the lid, I'm going to go in with Half Baked. I'm just going to pop that right on the center of my lid. If you wanted something a little less kind of in your face, you could take the shade Smog instead and apply that to the center of your lid. Alright, and I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and just buff right around Half Baked, just so it doesn't look so harsh. It looks more blended into Dark Horse. Alright, and then I'm going to take Half Baked on a pencil brush, and I'm going to run this right on the center of my lower lash line. Again, we're just mirroring the upper lash line. Alright, so now we've created this really fun kind of spotlight effect um, because of that nice gold going straight down the center of our eyes. I just think this looks really cool and different and it's a little bit unique. Um, if you wanted to kind of tone it down a little bit, you could leave the gold off of the lower lash line and just um, kind of run that green all the way across and really smoke it out. Um, but I kind of like the uh, whole spotlight effect right in the center. So now I'm just going to curl my lashes, apply mascara, lots and lots and lots of mascara, and then we'll be back to finish off the look. Alright, the mascara is on, and honestly, I kind of wish I had false lashes, because I think false lashes would just look so beautiful with this look, but my eyes do look really, really pretty right now. I really like the way this looks. So for eyeliner, I'm going to go in with this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in French Fries. Um, it's kind of a bronzy, just your standard kind of shimmery bronzy shade. And I'm going to run this on my lower waterline. And then for my lip, I'm going to go in with L'Oreal's Glossy Fawn. I think just a really warm, kind of brownie nude would look gorgeous with this eye. That's why I chose this. I know I use this all the time, but this is just the perfect kind of glossy, warm nude. And then I'm going to line my lips with L'Oreal's uh, Matting Call.
Alright guys, so that completes this makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. I am just getting so excited about using the Naked palette, pulling it out, and um, just kind of rediscovering an old love of mine. And I really love the way my eyes came out. So it's definitely very fall vibes, which I'm so excited about. And I'm super excited to do more fall makeup looks. Um, but I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. I hope y'all are having a blessed week as always, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys!